everybody! And the patch notes were officially released today by Bungie, giving the specific details, stats, changes, all that stuff, and everything that is coming with the April update. Which is why I waited to do this video on weapon changes, because I thought we might have these full patch notes today, and it's much better to give you guys the information with the specific numbers so you can actually understand what is being changed with the update. So, I'm just gonna be talking about the changes, I'm not gonna be talking about the goals or what they're talking about, all that extra information. If you do want to check that out, the link to the full article will be in the description. But if you want to just know what's going to be changing, I'm going to try and keep it as concise and short as possible. So let's jump straight into it and take a look at auto rifles. Low rate of fire auto rifles such as Cyrus Regime, An Answering Cord, and Anguish of Dryston are getting a 2.3 increase to base damage. High rate of fire, Doctrine of Passing, and Arminius D are getting a 2.5% reduction in base damage, and they're improving hip fire final accuracy. Moving on to pulse rifles, low rate of fire, such as the Messenger and Spare Change, are getting a 3% increase from previous base damage. Next up we have hand cannons, which not much is really happening, they're just increasing the ammo inventory for all hand cannons. Next we have the fusion rifle. Fusion rifles are more stable across the board. The maximum stability for a fusion rifle has not changed much, but the baseline minimum stability is much stronger. 40% recoil reduction and we literally ramp up from there. They also fixed the bug where some outlying fusion rifle scopes had unintended increased zoom that was removed in year two. Next up we have the big one, which is sniper rifles. Increase base zoom distance on the lowest range sniper scopes, such as short gaze and ambush, etc. Medium to long range scopes are untouched. Increased base zoom distance on sniper rifles that did not have optics, enhancing scope nodes, hereafter black spindle, patient in time, and still piercer. They added two frames of zoom time to base sniper handling. They reduced snapshot perk to 20% benefit to base zoom time down from 30%. They reduced the stability across all sniper stats so that reacquiring a target after firing requires more care. They addressed a bug when Zen Moment was not providing perk benefit to sniper rifles. Zen Moment removed from uncommon and rare sniper grids. Legendary Hake sniper rifles rifles trade Zen Moment for performance bonus, and legendary Omelon sniper rifles trade Zen Moment for Battle Runner. Battle Runner's not helpful on a sniper. I'm just saying. <laughs> So that's the overall changes to the weapons that are coming with the patch. Now let's take a look at the ammo economy, the specific numbers about what they're doing with that. Swapping special weapons in PvP now completely removes special ammo until more is found on the map. They reduce the total amount of inventory for all sniper rifles by roughly five to seven rounds. The exact amount depends on a given weapon's magazine and inventory stats. They reduce the total amount of inventory for all shots shotguns, which is the exact same as the snipers. They increase special ammo drop rate in all PvE activities to offset the reduced inventory for shotguns and sniper rifles, so don't worry PvE players, this is not going to be affecting you. They reduce the fraction of ammo granted by purple bricks in PvP. This change affects all machine guns and only a handful of rocket launches. Truth is one of the affected rocket launches, so you will no longer have three truth rockets or four if you have the pants. Reduce Reduced bonus ammo inventory granted by machine gun ammo armor perk by 33%. That's the ammo changes, moving on to player resurrection. Sorry if this is moving super fast, but there's a lot of freaking numbers and I want to get it to you guys in a short video so you don't have to go through all of this yourself. The changes coming to player resurrection. Reduced interactive radius of resurrection prompt by 0.5 meters, so you have to be closer to res people. Increase the base time to resurrect by 0.25 seconds. Reprioritize overshield so that it takes precision damage modifiers Previously, it did not, which allows more sniper archetypes to get res kills. 
Only a few PvE combatants deal precision damage, so aside from a few exceptions, this only affects the PvP mechanic. Adjust resurrection invincibility frames so that the moment a player can move and take damage are more consistent in most networking conditions. Reduced resurrection time bonus on exotic armor such as Crest of Alpha Lupi, Light Beyond Nemesis to 30% down from 40%. Next up, we have some weapon perk changes. Eye of the Storm. The perk now improves error angle in addition to projectile accuracy so players can see the hip reticle contract as the perk activates. Icarus, airborne inaccuracy reduced by an additional plus 9%, was 66% reduction, now 75% reduction. So hopefully when you're jumping around in the air with Icarus, it's actually going to be a useful perk. Aggressive ballistics, damage increase now asks for a minus 20 stability trade-off from minus 10. So if you want to get those aggressive ballistics, you're going to be reducing your stability even more. Next up, we have Exotic and Legendary Weapon Tuning. All that they are doing to Mido Multitool, I know it's Mido, people say Mido, whatever, <laughs> they are removing high caliber rounds. Suros Regime Changes, Selecting Focus Fire grants plus 45 range stat, that's huge. Spinning Up now activates four shots later in the magazine. Hawk Moon, Increase the base range stat by 10. The last word, no damage bonus is applied from the last word perk. Thorn is not coming to year two. It is a year one weapon, but the changes are that they are reducing the damage over time tick to damage the absolute minimum in PvP, one HP base damage. Reduce damage over time duration in PvP to four ticks down from six. Reduce the intensity of the poison screen effects for the victim to preserve combat effectiveness while poisoned. Next up, we have Icebreaker, which is staying in year one, just like Thorn is. They are increasing the zoom optics to six times. They reduce the base handling stat to the lowest value for sniper rifles, reduced base target acquisition by 25%, and death swapping in PvP no longer allows ammo to persist between swapped weapons. Dreg's Promise. The changes that are coming to Dreg's Promise are projectiles track more aggressively. On fire, targeting locks onto the enemy in your reticle. The damage reduced 40% and rate of fire reduced to compensate. So you're going to have those tracking bullets follow people more often, but it's not going to do as much damage because they do track better. Damage fall off reduced to match side arm archetype range. Now the rest of the changes that are coming to things like the thousand yard stare and the quillum quibblinus terminus. <laughs> are just things that are very much so in line with the other changes. So they're reducing the inventory that you can hold. You're not going to have as much ammo as you currently do. I hope this was helpful. If you want to see the full thing and see their reasoning behind all of these changes, like I said, the link is in the description. Hopefully you were able to just get the base numbers and understand what exactly is happening to your game next week. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I really hope this was helpful, not just a bunch of numbers being thrown at you. Hopefully the images help. Yeah. <laughs> I'll speak to you awesome people later. Bye.